Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop AI tutorial. In this one, I want to show you how to remove an object using the new remove functionality. It's currently in the beta version. It should be going out in the next few days. And here it is. It's the new remove tool. And it is amazing. You'll see here, if we look here, there's no real artifacting or anything. This looks very, very natural. However, there used to be a watch there. So how the heck did we do this? Well, let's just go ahead and start from scratch and I'll show you step by step. Okay, first step, we've got our image loaded up here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a second or I'm gonna duplicate this by dragging and dropping it there just because I wanna be able to show you the original and then the modified version. So making sure we're working on the top copy. The first step is I'm gonna go over to the left side here. I'm gonna grab the quick selection tool and then at the top, we have some options. I'm gonna use select subject, but before I click that little button, I'm gonna to go to the cloud for detailed results. So this uses the uh, servers, their own servers, not your uh, individual computer. Then I'm going to click on select subject and then presto, we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna take a look, see how good the selection is. If the selection is not good at any point, you can always go in here and grab the selection tool and add or subtract from it. But just a quick look here, it's done a pretty good job. Um, looks about right. Wow, good job, Photoshop. Okay, and that's also partly because we use the detailed cloud version. Okay, good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to select. Let's go up here. I'm gonna go to modify, and then I'm going to expand this, and I'm going to expand it 10 pixels. And I'll show you what this does here. I'm gonna click on okay. And then you'll see here that there's a little bit of a gap between you know how tight it is to the selection versus you know non-selection so there's a 10 pixel gap here between the object and the actual selection here that's quite deliberate because we don't want to have you know a little bit of trace elements you know when we when we do the removal and it kind of looks a little funny so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go over to the left side here and then i'm going to go search for that remove tool so it's in this healing constellation so to speak and then i'm going to go ahead and grab the remove tool and when i do that i'm going to use a very big brush and i'm just going to kind of brush over the selection now notice that it's not going outside the lines and that's very specifically because well Obviously, it's because we're inside the selection. So there we go. We've gone ahead and done it. It's now going to remove it slowly but surely. And presto, it has done a very good job. Now I'm going to go to select, deselect, and let's see what we got. I mean, for most of us, that might be good enough. That said, there is a little bit more we can do here. I'm going to grab the lasso tool, and I'm just going to lasso around this area here because it's a little bit harsh in my opinion so i'm going to lasso around it and then i'm going to go to edit and i'm going to go to content aware fill and i'm just going to go ahead and dial this in so this has done a very good job so i can go ahead and i can remove parts if i don't want that to be used in the content aware fill let's see what that gives us see that doesn't look right so i'm going to command z that but or control z and that's going to undo it but just keep in mind that if there's parts of this area that you don't want it to consider you can go ahead and do that i'm going to go ahead and click on ok and then select deselect and that's done a very good job the last thing you can do is you can go over to the left side and grab your blur tool and then i'm going to set it to about 30 percent here this is optional depending on how good the uh it was, but I'm going to go ahead and just blur around the edges just so that it's not quite as hard. Uh, and then bang, you know, let's take a look at what we had here. So there's the original. Here's a replacement using the remove tool, including all the steps that we had to take to get there. Thanks for watching.